Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Diablo 4 build video. In this video, I'd like to share with you my cursing summoning necromancer build, which worked out pretty damn well. It helped me to get to world tier 4 on level 66. Actually, I could have gone even sooner if I knew that you are able to do the dungeon. Uh, before level 70 for some reason I thought you gotta be level 70 <laughs> well you don't <laughs> and once soon as you beat it you unlock world tier uh, 4 even if you're not level 70 <laughs> but trust me it's very challenging on this tier uh, later on anyway so first let me play you a few clips from my yesterday's dungeon run for the dungeon that unlocks world tier 4 and then I will get on with the build in case if you liked what you saw. So please do comment down below your ideas and your thoughts about the build. Maybe some suggestions for editing or, you know, that sort of stuff. So let's begin. Are you noticing how my skills are reset real fast? Ah. Including my ultimate? Ah. That's my ultimate is coming back to life. And as always, we're going to kick it off with the Book of the Dead, uh, where the only... Actually, I did two changes from my previous build. So the Reapers, they keep focusing on the corpses. Uh, then I've added uh, Cold Mages, uh, enemies who are frozen by or damaged while frozen by your Cold Mages. Primarily attack are made vulnerable for four seconds, which is really cool. I, I combined that with my uh, with a legendary effect works per perfecto. And I also changed my golem to uh, blood golem. And while healthy, your blood golem gains 25% damage reduction and 50% increased damage. This golem is actually doing some real <laughs> kick. <laughs> but anyway, I tested it out, and f at the moment, he's the best one. I might even gonna uh, open an entire uh, paragon system dedicated to my golem because he's a pretty tough guy. Alright, now let's kick it off with the skills. So, from the basic skills, I pretty much don't use them anymore. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous video where I made the summoning necro uh, level 50, uh, I told you that uh, most probably I will stop using the basing, and basically that's what I did. Then from core, I also have nothing. I just invested into this thing right here because uh, there's really... N I, I could have just gone with essence, but whatever. I just decided to do it that way. Uh, from corpse... Uh, upgrades to my uh, warrior uh, mastery and these things I just had to pick them up because I wasn't able to proceed and then the curses I freaking love them man especially this one. oh wait uh yeah this one right here if you've paid attention to the fight how fast my cooldown for the ultimate went down <laughs> <laughs> this this thing really works when there's a whole bunch of mobs and especially those that don't die easy uh, and I have my minions and they hit and they got this lucky hit chance and I just spam my ultimate all the time and just it's massive it's just crazy so uh, this curse also what it does it uh, slows down the enemy 
I combine it with uh, my other uh, damaging skills to slow enemies, including a glyph that I found recently and started to upgrade, which is even better. <laughs> Uh, and the enemies deal less damage. So afterwards, what do we have here? Uh, ah, enemies while filled with spirit have up to 10% chance to be stunned for 2 seconds. Also, just perfect because um, I also have a glyph that doubles the damage via stunned, frozen, and uh, I'll show you the glyph later on. It's not about glyphs now. So this one, absolutely low. Then obviously some extra damage. I still need to check this out if this actually plays a role on the minions as well. I haven't had the chance. I'm planning to do all the tests when I get to the maximum level. So then Iron Maiden, uh, also a pretty good one. No essence and restores uh, my essence. So basically over here, cost no longer is. Instead gain 5 essence for each enemy curse. That does not work with enemies who are already cursed with Iron Maiden. So this thing also helps me to generate my essence back and deal some damage. And of course, uh, on passive skeleton mage mastery is a must. Then uh, obviously corpse tendrils, still my favorite skill. You saw how fast I can use it thanks to that uh, cooldown reduction uh, uh, from my uh, curse which is amazing I can spam this thing probably like every one second every two three depending on how many mobs are there so deals damage and makes the enemies vulnerable then uh, this I just put it there it doesn't play, play a big difference and obviously over here I have invested everything into uh, my golem uh, my skeleton, well, my minions, basically their passive abilities, right? The ultimate uh, essentially is the Army of the Dead in combination with one of the legendary effects. It makes my uh, minions even crazier, which I'm going to get into the uh, part when we start talking about the gear. So, and for the final part over here, the key passives, uh, I go with Kalan's Edict. Uh, since my build doesn't do damage, at all because <laughs> all I do is just spam curses and let the other guys do the job so it's like super easy build to play with uh, so I stay away from the enemies most of the times and uh, this thing triggers as soon as I wasn't damaged for three seconds and your minions gain 15% attack speed while you have at least seven or more this bonus is doubled so 30% attack speed here we go even more DMG freaking nice all right, here's how my Paragon is looking like. I still need to do a little bit more edits, changes with it, because I still need to play around with it. Like er, yesterday, I noticed that I've been uh, leveling a wrong glyph. So uh, here, here are the two glyphs that I'm, I'm already started using, right? So this is my favorite one so far. Uh, for every five intelligence purchased within the range, you deal four percent increased damage towards crowd control targets, and additional bonus if you and your minions deal ten percent increased damage to slowed or chilled enemies, and then instead of in, or instead twenty percent more damage to stunned and frozen enemies. So that's why I need that stun, and that's why I need the froze. I have some legendary effects that really helps me with stun as well, so I'll get onto that. So pretty much whatever is written over here, I'm able to do. And besides that, I also uh, am able to stagger bosses pretty well because I do chill, I do froze, I do that, and that bar over there that staggers them just goes super fast. So that's pretty cool. Uh, previously, I was upgrading uh, something else. I was upgrading this because I misunderstood what how it all read through and the only bonus I benefited was the additional basically I'm not gonna get into details with Paragon Boy right now because uh, I still need to play around with it a little bit more and then I'll make a more detailed guide about it but at the moment this is what I have so uh, we kicked it off over here we went all the way up picked up all the nodes that needed in order to apply uh, the bonuses went all the way up open the new board the new board what uh, is I believe the name of this board is also uh, cult leader so everything is focused on minions right so I w wasn't able to get in here to get that armor a little bit but I should be able to because look I have enough uh, and my focus was to get 
this thing straight off the bat and then straight off of the bat I wanted to put another glyph so I went all the way up so I managed to get some more damage over here and uh, some damage reduction plus damage so the next glyph that I'm using is uh, for this warrior uh, so basically for uh, it relates to skeleton warriors uh, additional bonus skeleton warriors gain 20% increased armor and uh, f for each I believe dex note yeah de dexterity note I get also a bonus uh, to the damage so for every 5 dexterity purchase within range uh, skeleton warriors deal 5.5 increased damage I still need to work on it on their levels so that's how my paragon is looking like at the moment I still need to play around to get those paragon points over there really nice yeah but it all needs time and uh, I was just trying to you know get things done ASAP so this is how my paragon board is looking like and let's move on alright now it's time to kick it off with gear this helmet I got yesterday <laughs> <laughs> I upgraded, look how good it is. Uh, total armor, uh, 101 uh, life on kill, plus 3 to ranks of Iron Maiden, plus 3 to uh, basically to my curses, and my the legendary effect I have on my uh, helmet would be to increase the amount of skeleton warriors. Then my armor, uh, additional damage to summoning skills, uh, summoning skill, summon skill damage. I believe this plays a role with minions, not 100%, uh, but I hope I'm not wrong. As, as I said, I'll do a lot more testing with every FX Mephix when I get to the top level and when it's going to be logical for me to understand whether that's working or not. And, you know, kind of get more gear and stuff like that, so more tests are going to be done. But if you already know the answer, comment down below. So, uh, on the armor, I got the barrier, which triggers... Uh, and saves my butt in world tier 4 world tier 3 I don't even need it to be honest I was thinking of getting rid of it but in world tier 4 I need it <laughs> those guys hit so hard like trucks because uh, I still need to upgrade my gear uh, I mean get myself new gear and then upgrade it so then we got gloves over here uh, increase the skeleton mages uh, then we've got our pants so maximum life to me, maximum life to my minions, all stats and intelligence. Basically, uh, for the affixes, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, affixes. I focus on my minions. Obviously, that's number one priority, and number two priority are my stats, because the stats help to progress a lot more in the uh, Paragon board. Basically, you know, remember when you want to get additional this, you gotta have 250 dexterity or 250 intelligence. These things also play into that board, right? So, uh, stats is a priority and uh, skill reduction. So the timing and any defensive skills that I can put my hands on. Uh, then uh, we got these boots right here. Uh, this is the legendary effect I was talking about. So cold skeleton mages cast blizzard that deals X amount of damage, continuously chills the enemies for. 8% uh, over 6 seconds and also freezes them so that's pretty cool I actually got a pretty cool new boots uh, unique ones yesterday I'll, I'll leave a trail and chills enemies as well but uh, still haven't had the chance to play around with it uh, then my weapon over here so your skeletons gain increased damage while active 46% so this is very nice Ultimate skill damage, that's my focus, vulnerability damage, and slowed enemies, so basically all of that I do. So that's why, well, ultimate, I spam my ultimate thanks to my skills that help me to reduce the timing. Uh, vulnerability, I'm with my tender tentacles or whatever they're called. Uh, they make vulnerable, and the uh, damage to slow enemies, uh, I slow them down with my curses. So for jewelry, I got a rank for Hellbuck Commander passive, which increases the damage on my minions as soon as if I stand close to them. Uh, extra intelligence, 7.2%, minion attack speed, and well, thorns is not a big deal. I was trying to make a thorns build, but it didn't work out. Maybe on higher on higher level, uh, it could work out because I saw a pretty good glyph that you can combine it. So uh, I'm looking forward to make another type of summoner build, apart from cursing everybody. <laughs> 
Alright, so for the ring, uh, critical chance, uh, maximum minion life, golem inherits thorns, and blood orbs, useless. Uh, so yeah, you see I still got a lot, a lot of work to do. Uh, oh yeah, my bad. I run through. So, on the legendary effect, this is my main stutter. So, this is why I put it on my medallion. So, enemies affected by the Iron Maiden have 38 percent chance to be stunned for one second when they deal direct damage so yeah oh yeah oh yeah I did explain the, the glyph just for some reason I thought wait I didn't talk about it I did uh, so for the rings each time one of your summoning minions damages an enemy they gain uh, attack speed for three seconds up to 36 percent so that's pretty cool. And once again, minion life. I uh, already explained those. Then this, another uh, main aspect. While Army of the Dead is active, minions gain 85% attack speed and take 90% reduced damage. Oof. <laughs> Oof. That thing hurts when it's activated. So uh, minion life, maximum life to me, and the rest were just unlock so it is what it is so yeah so that was my gear for sockets I aim for uh, life ultimate skill damage and resistances yeah resistance to all elements so yeah this is where I'm gonna be calling it the end for this video we just gotta tell you man I absolutely love this build I came up with I'm gonna keep upgrading it to its maximum level then maybe as I said create some other slash summon something <laughs> builds I really love uh, necromancer I've really been playing necromancer since high school <laughs> Diablo 2 you know anyway so thanks all for watching I hope you enjoyed the show and if you did you know the drill don't forget to smash that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so do have that in mind and if you're new and you subscribe welcome to Z Client on Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine so I have from Ukraine once again thanks all for watching and I'll see you on the next one and there's a few few links that you might want to take a look at in the video description bye